Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you what are the list of requirements to apply for I-751 or the petition to remove the condition of residence. So I applied for a K-1 visa before when I was in Philippines. K-1 visa is a fiancé visa and when I enter the United States, I have that and they gave me two years conditional green card. That two years conditional green card is up so I need to file the next visa which is the 10 years green card or this I-751. So first on my list is the form I-751. You can download it online at uscis.gov. You can put all your information online, print it out, and make sure that you will sign at the applicant section and your petitioner or your husband to the petitioner section. Don't forget that. So second, don't forget the money. Uh, well, there's four options for you to choose from on how to pay it. I link a video at the top right now. You see the link. Click it and it will route you to what are those four options. So on my end, I use checked. So I include that on the form. And third, they are requiring you to have a photocopy of your green card or two years conditional green card back uh, and front. And they are also asking for the I-94, the most recent I-94. And I also create a tutorial video on how to get that most recent I-94 online. And the link is at the top as well. You can click it and it brought you to one of my videos um, teaching you on how to get it. It's so easy, so you can check that out. And another thing is the evidences. Evidences that you have a legit marriage. So you have to gather all the evidences and information that is pertaining to both of you. So first on my list of evidence is marriage certificate. I also have the report of marriage because I have a copy of it. Also the uh, apartment contract that is both of our names. First and second apartment that we have. Also bank account, joint account, bank statement, credit card statement. Um, so checking, savings that is both under your name. You can you know, you can give them the statement or you can just create a screenshot and print it out. Also, I have a copy of all tax return, your vehicle, loan, um, certificate that you have the vehicle together, and all the pictures celebrating occasion, holidays, or with your friends. Also, don't forget the letter of evidence from one of your family member, friends, or even church mate. You can also include the health insurance policy that you are on and anything anything that is both under your name electric bill rent yeah i've already mentioned about the contract i already included two of our apartments there and if you have house mortgages you can put that all there anything anything that is both under your name that will prove that you are together so i'm not sure if i it's it's better that i'm going to show it all to you but i think I think you can all see that online at uscas.gov. Um, all other tutorials or information that you need is there. I also create a video, so if you have other questions or comments, you can leave that on the comment section below. Question, I'll try to answer that for you based on my experience. So I'll keep you posted on what's gonna happen next. Since I gather all the information that I need, I'm gonna send it to USPS tomorrow and yeah, I'll wait for the receipt and I'll keep you posted until I get it. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye for now.